cheers for tuning in uh, with our first brew sesh and we're going to be trying to build a sweet one for ASF to play in postmodern. So I'll throw it to you straight away, Asif. What are you thinking about? Right, so I've got two ideas, right? Hey, okay. So my idea number one is the only the only card that I've found even remotely interesting in the past like few sets because the rest is often kind of dull to me right. is Teza Karlov. So she she, Tez- she triggers uh, she doubles death triggers or something. Yeah, so if a, it, it's really specifically worded, it's like if a permanent, if a if a creature dying causes a permanent, a trigger of a permanent you control to trigger, it happens twice. Right. I think is the so, the phrasing. Right. So if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time, and creature tokens have vigilance and life link. But that's right. Okay. That's just there for afterlife. Yeah. Right. So. I was I was wondering, does that mean that it has to be the dying that causes the trigger, or does just or can it see if the creature dies and triggers a leave the battlefield effect? Will that still be doubled? I think that would still be doubled because the leave the battlefield, like it dying, has caused that to trigger because it yeah, left the battlefield yeah, that, by that, dying. That was my understanding. So does that mean we can double trigger revolt off of this? Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> so like. Can, mm, can you play that's can you play hidden stockpile and get like double Oh god <laughs> And all your servers have vigilance and life link it's the It's the best idea hang on I need to check the wording on hidden stockpile that's the <laughs> so I, need, I basically need to check the, the, the wording on A revolt, revolt right, yeah. Because I don't know how I was about to say what set is that and I remembered it's called Ether Revolt and that's kind of Yeah I think it's only in that set, right? Yeah. Well, it's the, it's the one with Revolt in the title, right? So that's... Well, hang on, I've got every Revolt card up, but obviously some, oh, some, won't, some don't matter. So like, what's, the, what's the wording on Revolt? Uh, revolt says, when this thing enters the battlefield, if a permanent leave- you control had left the battlefield this turn, get this effect. Right, so for Hidden Stockpile... Hidden Stockpile says, at the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn... So don't, I don't think that works because it doesn't trigger immediately on it dying. Like, I think the death has to happen and cause the trigger immediately, as opposed to the death happening and then the trigger happening later. Does it? I don't know. This is the thing. This is why we need, like, a judge to be like, how the fuck does this work? But let's, let's see if I don't... It, can it. Does Taser Karlov... Work is that what you're typing into Google? <laughs> Does Taser Karlov? Right, okay. Uh, that doesn't Does work. it not? That Does it not work? I see this. I don't. I. I honestly don't understand like the wording of it. Yeah. Enough. Like... Does just if a creature dying causes a triggered ability to trigger? No, because then because in the. The dying has to link directly to the trigger, right? It is because uh, revolts are triggered ability, but they're not. They're not like triggering at the same time. It's dying, and then the thing's triggering later. It's a, it's a delayed trigger. Mm, yeah, I, I don't I, know. I would be tempted to say that would work. I would be tempted to say you would get two servos out of it, but I don't know for a fact. That would be something I need to ask, like a judge. Yeah, but, because like it makes like if if you can do that, like you know how the the vengeful rebel revolt guy as well that when he comes in, if something left, he minus three something. <laughs> give something minus six, minus six. Well, you could give yeah. something. He he could just be like a three mana chupacabra, or you could like, kill two things with him. Oh yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's if that's if, that's if this works the way we think it works. That's the yeah. Because I don't know, because like obviously, like Taser Karlov links into the afterlife mechanic. It's just I was sitting going through all the cards, going like, what works when things die? Yeah, and there's not a lot of things that say do X thing when this dies. Well, I mean, yeah, well, like so, leave the battlefield things work, just maybe not revolt, right? So, like, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. There's not a lot that really matters with that. Um. Because a lot of the leave the battlefield triggers are just like giving your opponent stuff back off of like O ring effects. Yeah, like the stuff the stuff I was finding was like the. Do you remember you did like the, like the two mana pirate that's like a four three that when it dies it gives your enemy two triggers uh, two treasures it's like oh give your opponent four treasures that's a great thing to have for Tezu. 
Um, like, what else like does good stuff when it dies? What like? A- oh, do you know what we could play? Do you know what does a lot when things die? Wait, does it have to? Wait, what, what does what does Taser say? Is it your creatures or just creatures? Uh, creature it's, not, it's, 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 it's if I, if it's oh god. I need so to really right, keep this so up. here's here's what I'm thinking. Right, um, we could. Play a if, of- if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control, so any creature can die, but if it triggers right. a permanent you control, okay. that happens twice. So right, wait, how about right? So right, okay, what what are you wanting to do with this? I don't know. I just like I, the the idea that this was like open field because it was just like I think this is a cool card. What can you do with it? Is the idea right? Okay, that's so, it. So my, my initial thing is like let's abuse. Like, so do we want to be like a? A deck that abuses die triggers, or do we want to be a deck that like is like a is is built around like making some kind of engine? I mean, it would probably be better if it's built around die triggers, right? That would probably right, okay. be so, like so easier to use. So, so here's what I'm thinking: here are your big payoff cards, right? Yeah, you've got a lend of the dusk rose. Sure, yeah, you get a lot of vampires. Yeah, black white, right? But also, a lender cares about things dying as well. Because like she gets her counters. oh so she gets she gets double counters so so now you've got like sure now you've got like eight cards so Taser wants when Taser wants to see things die so that she can double their die triggers but Elenda wants to see things die to make herself better yeah so like I, I feel like she's like a an auto include just because like they're 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 wanting to do similar things yeah uh, yeah totally I can totally understand that and then if you've got Taser in the field and then Elenda dies you get all these vampires for free. That all now also have vigilance as well as their lifelink because of Tesla. Yeah, right. So here, here's my next logical jump. Then, right? If okay. We, if we want things to die, mm-hmm. can we put it in like a zombie shell and play Relentless Dead? Because when he dies, you get to get a zombie back from the graveyard. So when he dies, when Tesla's out, you get to bring back two zombies. But then. <sighs> Yeah, so I was looking when you look at Amonkhet and you look at uh, our devastation. Obviously, black white there are zombies. Yeah, but so this was the other thing I was thinking of of leaning into zombies. Right, is you get to play the awesome card that I thought should have been used more, which was like Plague Belcher. Because when a zombie dies, you drain <laughs> your guy for one. But if it happens twice, then it's two per zombie. Yep. And I think that's really cool. And it's just a 5-4 with Menace. And I really like well, the 5-4s with Menace. Here's, here's the other thing. See, uh, like... So the other way you could go with it is, like... You could play, like, Midnight Reaper. Mm-hmm. So, like, when something... Oh, I thought, I, thought that would, I thought that would just be in it regardless, because it's just right, draw okay, cards. Okay, so, like, yeah. w- hang on. W- let me get a bit of paper. Where, where are we at? <laughs> where, where are we at at the minute? We're at... We're at... We're at Tezas, we're at Alendas, and we're at Midnight Reapers. It just depends on whether or not we want to do this in like a... A zombie cell seems good, right? That seems like a decent idea. So, right, we're, so we're, we're, we're starting on four four Tezas, right? That's, yeah, that's the start. Uh, right, so four Tezas. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> what? Uh, so it's just listen, trying to, trying to do all this and you're physically writing out a... Right, so four Tezas, four Alenda, four Midnight Reaper. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Right. Um, so, are there any other zombies that care about stuff dying? Because, so the other thing I was looking at, right, that can just set up, like, some mental engine is uh, Demon of Dark Schemes. See, this was this was the other thing I saw as well, where it's like the recursion engine, because you get so much energy, right? Is that the yeah, idea? Yeah, because when something dies, he'll give you two energy for each thing dying, and, like, see if all your shit is quite small. So, like, see if you play stuff like Doom Decenter, when it dies, get a zombie. Yeah. Desperate Sentry, when it dies, get an Eldrazi. Um, like, the the one white guy that when he dies, you get a 1-1 lifelinker. Yeah. Yeah, so if you play all that shit, and you just cast Demon of Dark Schemes, kill all your creatures, double the size of your board, and generate a million energy. Yeah, but then what are you doing with it? Well, you're dead. You're, re- you're, you're recurring, like, 1-1s one and stuff. That's not very good. Yeah. But you could also use it to recur, like, your opponent's shit, right? Sure. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, or you could... But, but, like, if you're playing, like, a Demon of Dark Schemes deck, you're probably going to play some number of, like, Chupacabras and stuff. So, yeah. like, demon comes in, kills your chupacabra, and then he can reanimate chupacabra. Mm. 
That's true. Let's let's see. Let's 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 think on the the zombie shell first. I kind of like the idea of the zombie shell. Right. Okay. And see so, if, see if we can build something out of that. So that's like. So see the the issue with this is it's like, um. What what do we want to bring back? So there. <laughs> Here's a sweet one, right? You know you were right, talking okay. about how, how you like um, how Plague Belcher, when a zombie dies, they lose one life? Yeah, right. drain them for two or whatever. How, yeah. how do you feel about, also, if you're going down the zombie route, also playing uh, Tattered Mummy? What the fuck is Tattered Mummy? <laughs> so, uh, I've not even heard of that card. <laughs> it was uh, it was in the the Liliana like Planeswalker deck. Oh, is that why I've never heard of it? All <laughs> yeah, right, okay, sure. It wasn't actually on the set. Um... But what it says is it says when Tattles, when Tattled Mummy dies, each opponent loses two life. Hell yeah, dude. So That's, like, yeah. <laughs> Fucking kill my guy, drain you for four. That's great. Well, yeah, <laughs> but it's, dra- it's drain you for six if you've, or if you've got a Plague Belcher out as well. Yeah, that as well. Yeah. I, I mean, now we, we, we need Taze out on top of all this stuff. But like, That's fine. Whatever. Um, but like, it seems pretty sick. Like, um,. Having relentless dead die and then like getting so it's like attack with relentless dead and if they don't block it they take two and if they do block it you get back like two tattered mummies. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about fucking relentless dead. Yeah, that card. Uh, like, sweet. This, this, this is the whole point. We'll talk about zombie. Um, you could play wretched camel. Remember wretched camel? <laughs> Which one's wretched camel? So I can't even. A, I can't remember any of these cards. This it's, is... it's a zombie from Out of Devastation. It's a two mana two one and. Oh, you need deserts. But if we have deserts, it says when Wretched Camel... <laughs> if we have deserts! All right. It says when Wretched Camel dies, if you control a desert, uh, or there is a desert in your graveyard, target player discards a card. Oh, what? That's... It's the, but that's just discarded too. That's not very good. Uh, Mind Rotten's pretty good when it's free and recurrable with Relentless. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fair. But then, we're, see, then you're... See, so now we're at four tasers. Four Lenders. Four Relentless Deads. <laughs> well, like, some just... tired bubbies, some camels. <laughs> this is actually pretty sweet. I like it the more I talk about it. It's pretty dumb. Um, you could also um, remember the witch from... That when it dies, you go find a curse. <laughs> you could double go curse them. A... What? So it was a cursed witch. Uh and when a cu- oh, no, that's no. that's a thing that transforms. That doesn't work. You're right. You're right. Yeah. No, there, there was a witch from original Innistrad. I'm thinking of. And there was, ah. was, uh, yeah. There was. A, it was like a. Yeah. There was a witch from original. Unfortunately, Innistrad. we don't have access to original yeah. Innistrad. Yeah. But when it when it died, you 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 tutored your deck for a curse and put it on them. What was the? What was the? Never a zombie. Oh, that's enters the battlefield. I was looking at the the zombie from Amonkhet, the white black. Uncommon. I was trying to remember what it did, but so yeah, I think there's like two ways to build this. That you can, you can, I think you can build this <laughs> with like just vomit all your men, like just play like all these like shitty doom dissenters and like just guys that when they die you get guys, so that like when you get Taser, they just they just can't. Um, because you've got Martyr of Dusk as well, so there's like there's quite a lot of things that when they die they just make a token. They do a thing, yeah. Uh, well, no, but it's like make a token specifically because like which one's martyr dusk? Oh, that's the the vampire one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, there's like there's there's four of that card because so you can play like martyr of dusk. You can play doom dissenter. You can play um, the one mana one one from um, Ravnica, and what's the other one that when it dies it makes something? Maybe there's not one. I thought there was another one. Doom the center. There's the soldier one. There's the the vampire one. Okay, maybe it's just those three. Maybe just those three. But I mean, that's still like twelve card, twelve of that effect. Yeah. Um, but then, so, but then, right? But then, so say you have them, you have. Well, but it's a different deck, right? There's a zombie. There's a zombie deck. Oh, there's a zombie, zombie deck, and there's like a token and, deck. I guess, kinda, yeah. yeah, like make a bunch of tokens, and then like, because you could even, yeah, like, I mean, does that deck? Does that deck just play like Judith at that point? Yeah, so this is the thing is that if you go into three colours and you end up Mardu, you get Judith. But then, so the problem with that is that I think trying to set that up 
and Teza. Like, Teza's only four mana, right? Yeah, Teza's four. Uh, Judas three. Like, which isn't the worst, I guess, but if you're trying to, like... Wait, hang on. Hang on. Oh, God, what? Uh, do you remember the card Treasure Keeper? Treasure Keeper. No, it says, I don't remember. So it says, when Treasure Keeper dies, reveals cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card with converted mana cost three or less. You make right. that card without paying its mana cost. So like, oh, that's the the artifact dude, right? Yeah. Is that yeah? So when it dies, so here's what I'm thinking. I think see if we're playing this kind of tokens deck anyway. Yeah. I think we just play. I think that deck just plays hidden stockpile, just for a sack outlet. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So and then if if it works with Taser, then that's mental. Um. But like, so. Do we just play a tokens deck where Teza is like a a second copy of Anointed Procession? Anointed Procession, uh, yeah, kind of. That would that's kind of what she ends up being, right? Is that when because all your tokens come from things dying, so that kind of ends up working. Um, does that does that like do they compound each other like the way oh, with, that it the, triggers? The, what Teza and so if you so if you have a a trigger for Teza and a trigger a trigger for or not it's not a trigger technically for anointed procession I guess so so like anointed, does... yeah, anointed procession says if a token would enter twice that many enters so Teza doubles the triggers so instead of making one token you'd make four okay so it, it does work the way I think okay yeah, sure yeah. um the other one is desperate sentry you know the card worth the, the other one that makes a it's the it's the three mana one two that when it dies it makes a three two Eldrazi sure okay so there is, there is sixteen of that effect if you want to. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so, like, I think there's one deck that just starts off like four Taser, four Midnight Reaper, four Alenda, and sixteen of these creatures. Sixteen of these dudes, yeah. And then, like some hidden stock. But how, do, how does it win? That's the problem. I win, it's, it's, a to- it's a token deck. It just wins by going wide. Is that the? Yeah, it's going to gain a million life as well, so it's not going to die very hard. True. Um, or you've got this like zombie value engine I, I kind of oh, like that oh midnight, god midnight reaper's a zombie why, oh we have to play we have to play the zombie midnight deck a zombie? <laughs> well we have to play the zombie deck now if midnight reaper's a zombie right that's uh, that's too good <laughs> so is this just black white zombies with like yeah it's black white zombies but with Teza as like a, a added spice on the top of the zombie list so right, but so here's the thing, right? Do we actually want to play like a good zombie deck, or do we want to play like this tattered mummy wretched camel nonsense? I mean, <sighs> because like tattered mummy and wretched camel like are really really good with Taser. Yeah. Um, but they're bad every other time. That's the. Yeah, but you like absolutely have to draw your Taser to like do anything. Yeah. Is that the? If you if you play, because you can just because see that this is the thing like all the zombies that are good with Taser, like are bad zombies. Like your your yeah. good, your good zombies are just your efficiently costed men and lords, and none of them really work well with Taser. Apart, yeah, apart from Plague Belcher. But again, I think if you were making like the best possible zombie deck you could, you wouldn't play Plague Belcher. Yeah, obviously. So it's like, but then but then it's not a Taser Karlov deck, uh, which was wait. the thing I wanted to start with. Yeah. Um. There's a really, I just really realised a really sick thing with Plague Belcher. So when Plague Belcher oh, okay. comes in, he puts two minus one counters on something. Yeah. So you, he can come in and put counters on the Relentless Dead and start the chain. Because he can come in, kill Relentless Dead, then Relentless Dead pulls stuff back. Yeah. Um. So, I just, that's, that's, a, that's a thing that can happen. Is that, that is definitely a thing that can happen. You're absolutely right. That is a thing. I don't know if it shows the battlefield. Um, oh, it's to the battlefield. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's this. Ah, right. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, um, and you, could you return the relentless dead to your hand and then return the other zombie to the battlefield? Yeah. So you um, play like black X and do both of them. Yes. So, but if you've got Taser, then the other trigger you could get two things back. Yes. Which is pretty good in itself. That seems like good value. Um, yep. <laughs> and you could play like Demon of Dark Schemes in that deck because he'll just kill all your shit zombies and then like that will he, he and Demon of Dark Schemes like starts the engine as well. 
Yeah. So he makes like everything die, turns on all your die triggers, then relentless dead triggers. I suppose at that point you need the mana to cast demon of dark schemes. Yeah, so that that, that requires a hell of a lot of mana. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. So we've got four taser. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, four taser and four relentless dead. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a decent start. So yeah. are, are we going to play like these tattered mummies? So if we want it to be like a taser deck, then we kind of need a way to win. Well, so no, you're, you're winning, yeah. Like well, you I guess you're you're winning you're winning through the hopeful like recursion of this relentless dead sort of like bringing the chain back and stuff. But that's not like killing people. Whereas. <laughs> Well, it is if you're, like, looping tattered mummies for four. <laughs> well, that's what I mean, is that you need something there. You you would need... That That would be the reason to have Teza, is to then do this relentless dead looping thing, yeah. bring back your tattered mummy, and then somehow um, kill yeah, it again. So you could... Is there any... Is there any, like, um, Zulaport cutthroat? I know he's not in the format, but is there anything like that in the sets that were... Like, when it dies? Other than Plague Belcher? Uh, I don't know, uh, is the thing. Oh, there is. There is. Is there? It's four mana, though. It's the vampire what? from the new Ravnica set. Vindic- Vin- Vindictive vampire. Oh, yeah. The new vampire. The new from Ravnica Allegiance. Yeah. When Whenever another creature you control dies, Vindictive vampire deals one to each opponent and you gain one life. I guess not bad. That's... So... It's four, it is four mana, though. That's kind of a lot, but... How what's the what stats is it? It's a two three. Uh, okay, it's, it's like kind of awkward, but like if, really if, awkward. if we're going down like a, um, if we're going to be playing what's it called anyway, uh, hidden stockpile. Sure. You can like combo kill them with a vindictive vampire, just like okay, cool, sack my board, you're dead. Yeah, that's yeah. Because vindictive vampire says another creature, it doesn't say non-token. So see, once you get your Alenda up to a decent point, you're like, sack Alenda, sack all the tokens, and you're just like, melting them. That's pretty cool. Do that. Let's, let's, let, what does that look like? Especially, if, so if we're playing Hidden Stop Hill as well, that's a way to just get rid of our tattered yeah, so, mummies so, as well. So, so, yeah, so here's the thing, right? If, if we're playing Vindictive Vampire, Taser, yeah. and Alenda, yeah. that's, that's, that's 10 four drops. It's a lot of four drops. <laughs> Um, like mm. so, but I, I don't, I don't, yeah. Like I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to play four vindictive vampire. You probably only no. play, You probably only play two of those. Two of those, which is yeah. why I'm saying like four tays or four alenda. Yeah. Um, so, so that's ten. That's ten four drops, which isn't awful. Uh, yeah, it's not great. It's not great, but so, I mean, you, you, four tays four, four alenda. Yeah. Uh, two vampire. Um, yeah. We're playing our four midnight reapers. Yeah. Um, we're playing our four tattered mummies. Yeah, we are. Um, we're, we should... we're playing. We're playing our f- four hidden start piles, probably. I don't know. Um, should we play? Um, right, okay, we'll have a, we'll have a look. Right. Um, so four tattered mummies, four yeah. plague voucher. Yeah. Right. Okay. So right now we've got ten. We've got ten fours, eight threes, and. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Okay, so we need to go about lore. So let's right, throw so in. We're, 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 right, we're going to play hidden stockpile, right? Yeah. Uh, so four. Yeah. Okay, four hidden stockpile. Um, Probably four like Doom Descenter. See, I was thinking that. Um, how many ca- do you want to play these camels? Ah, oh, but then we have to think about what deserts we want. Well, that's fine, and that's because like we're, we're like black. We're, we're, we're like black. We're black white. Yeah, but at the minute we only have two white cards. Taser, oh, okay, Taser that's Alenda, not right? that's not that bad then. Yeah, but like it's one of those things where like our mana's gonna be pretty good because we just play like twelve jewel lands, and then instead, sure, yeah. instead of basics, we'll just play some deserts. What deserts do we play though? Uh, oh, since we're in white, we can play the the anthem desert. You know, where you so, so like you sack it and all your guys get plus one plus one. And... Was that a thing? Yeah, it's it's the white. So it's out. Oh, the chef net dunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, is it plus one or plus two? It's plus one. Yeah. So you can play it's, it's, it's literally just an anthem for a turn. That's yeah, what it so is. You can, we can play the Chef in the Dunes. Um, That's pretty good. So, I mean, Doom, Doom Decenter. I mean, Doom Decenter works pretty well with Taser, I guess. Well, yeah, it, it's 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 early. It's early multiple blocks, and later on, it's a thing to sack and get two zombies. Like it's yeah. Um, so here's here's one that we didn't really talk about. Uh, mm-hmm. 
What about Phil Grief Familiar? Is that the, the little rabbit thing that draws you cards? Yeah, when it die. So when it comes into play, you gain two life. That's, that's it pretty good. It well, it's three mana, right? Yeah. That's not bad. It's pretty it's, good. I mean, it's pretty good, like, once you get... like, So it, it works well with what we're trying to do, because, like, it gains his life, so it kind of offsets the... The what's it called? The Midnight Reaper a wee bit. Yeah. Um, and then it, it draws his cards. So, like, if you've got a Midnight Reaper and him in play, when he dies, you divinate. If you've got a Taser in play, when he dies, you divinate. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's totally true. That's it's pretty good, actually. That's like a nice little include in most respects. Um, oh, hang on. We've not... So we have, uh, we have four Relentless devs as well. This, this deck's actually filling up pretty fast. So, like... This <laughs> deck builds itself. That's how so good we are. Four... So, hang on. Your two drops are Relentless dead. Y- yep. Tired uh, Mummy. Tired Mummy. <laughs> um, Don't laugh. That card's going to win us games. <laughs> your, your threes... Are Midnight Reapers, we might trim on these, we might not play a full four of them. Yeah. Um, and Plague Belchers. Yeah, and maybe Familiars, if we decide that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine like playing a non-zero amount is probably correct. Yeah, maybe two or something. It's probably alright. Are we going to play like, any, any interaction in this deck? Or are we just... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just going to play a fishbowl deck and just not worry about what... Yeah, we should probably play something that matters. Oh, do, like... do, you know, do you know what we could play? What's you know, that? You know the removal, sp- the zombie removal spell? The zombie removal spell. Yeah, so it's it's XX black. Make X zombies. Oh, dark salvation. That's the one. Yeah, I guess you could play that. Yeah. For a lender, to vampire. Yeah. Uh, and then, so so are we still on this playing um, doom descenters? So hang on, right? Zombie zombie count time. So we've got the relentless yeah. themselves. We've got the tattered mummies. Yeah. We've got plague belchers. We've got the midnight reapers, and that's it. That's it. Until we, unless we add these, um, or oh, Doom Descenters aren't zombies though. No, but they make zombies. But they can't be recorded with Relentless Dead. Ah, uh, yeah, it's true. Four Wretched Camel. <laughs> <laughs> what? What CMC's Wretched Camel? Two. Oh, all right. It's and it's a what? A two one. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. So, like, the th- the thing about it is, it, it, like, if we play enough deserts, right? It's just. We have to, we have to like play. We have to then purposefully like actually worry about playing deserts, though. That's fine. We'll play twelve jewel lands and twelve deserts. Done. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Sure. Um, um, there's also the the pious evangel. Oh God, that sounds like a Shadows of Innistrad card. It is. It is it's a flip card. Um, okay. So right, this this is maybe better than the vampire because it's a three mana version of the vampire. Um, Pious Eva- Oh wait, was that? So, oh so, like, yeah. So okay. Pious Evangel says when a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. So it's a, like a soul sister, right? It's a four. Yeah. It's, a, it's a three mana soul sister, right? Right. Uh, but it's also got this tap and sacrifice. So you tap it, sacrifice another permanent, transform the Evangel, and he transforms into. Uh, was this the uncommon? I think I've got yeah. one of these sitting beside yeah. me. And he, he yeah. transforms into. Uh, um, what's it called? The, the the same thing the vampire does. The uh, like the blood artist style yeah, thing. It does blood artist on the back. Um, so it's cheaper, but you need to like sacrifice a creature to flip him. But, I mean, we're we're sacrificing shit anyway. That's yeah, not. So that's and like he might just be better on the vampire then because he means we can like curve, cheaper too. Yeah, we can like curve him into. T- he doesn't like, take up the slot that a lender or Taser would take up on our curve. Yeah, um, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd say that's probably fair. So and it like it like offsets whatever life we might lose as well a little bit. Just yeah, by well, like he can actually like, gain as a shitload of life because he doesn't care about non tokens. So like when a lender no. dies, it's just like or, again like, all this life. Uh, yeah, or like the, the, like when you're doing the, your relentless dead loops, he's like slowly gaining you life. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd I'd say that's fair. Okay, so the vampires out, pious evangels in. Yep. That boy's in. Um, right, hang on. Let's let's do a quick count. So that's like, at the minute, that's like twelve two drops. That's like, um, fourteen three drops and eight Jesus. fours. So that's twenty two. So that 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 would be your deck at the minute. That and lands would be our deck. <laughs> uh, that that's thirty four cards. 
Jesus Christ! All right. Uh, like so, I'll I'll, re- I'll read you back what we've got. Right. We've yeah. Got four relentless deads. Four tattered mummies. Four wretched camels. Wait, I thought we got. Oh no, we're keeping. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So four relentless dead. Four tattered mummies. Four wretched camels. Yeah. Three midnight reaper. Four plague yeah. belcher. Three uh, Phil Grey familiar. Three pious evangel. Four Taser, Four Alenda, Thirty four cards. We st- we need head start powers, right? Uh. Yes. <laughs> so, like, how many lands do you want to play? Twenty-three. Twenty-three seems okay. Yeah. So, like, three hidden stockpile. Sure. Zero interaction. <laughs> ah, zero interaction kind of kills me, but like, I don't know what we would do. Like, you can you can cut stuff. Like, you can trim on. I mean, you could you could cut familiars if you really want to. Like you could trim, you could trim on pious evangels, but I mean, since he's a three mana thing now, he actually seems fine. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Um, so like you, you could trim on those to play dark salvations, but so here's you've got, you've got what you've got, tw- what, you've got nineteen, you got nineteen zombies in the deck at the minute. Mm-hmm. Um, but remember, hang on, hang on. We could also we don't need to play dark. We could play dark salvation. That's an option, right? Uh, our other options are. You can play everyone's favourite card, Fatal Push. Ah, f- I can't afford to buy Fatal Pushes, man. That's <laughs> not... Um, so, you could also play the... The Conclave Tribunal. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Like, just because, like, you've got a bunch of shitty guys kicking about anyway. You might as well just tap them and get rid of some stuff. Yeah. Um, and what else are they going to instead of that? Um... So yeah, you you can you could do that. You could so you, I think your options are like Conclave Tribunal, Fatal Pushes, or the, um, the Dark Salvation. But at that point, you're probably trimming these filgree familiars to play it. Uh I don't know what he thinks better. I mean, so- I, I just I really hate decks with like zero interaction. That just seems like you're asking to get killed. That is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, zero. I, I, I don't know. It depends how like uh, how resilient you think this is going to be. Like, well, do, do you need interaction if like you, you what you're doing is like heart is like messing with them enough that they need to interact with you? I mean, that is true. If we're like getting to the point where it's like all we are doing is just for like how much interaction did like uh, what was the deck? Oh, uh, what was the deck from Cans that was all about like sacking stuff and then you brought it back and then oh, um, you played it? Rally the ancestors. Yeah, like that. How much interaction did Rally have? Um, very, very little. But like a lot of its creatures like done stuff, so it had like, like, um, like fiend hunter type creatures, and it had um. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, it had like Seed Rhino, and so it was. It was pretty good at like not dying. Um. So yeah. Hmm. You get no one drops. I don't know if that bothers you, but ah, doesn't really bother me. Okay. Is there any, are there any one drops that matter that we need? I mean, there's stuff you could play. Like you could play that one mana guy that when he dies makes a token. You could play like a dread wanderer if you just wanted to up your zombie count. Yeah, um, like, that's fine. Yeah, there's 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 options, but it's uh. I think it's okay. So I mean, this so this is this is thirty seven. Yeah. Um, do you want to do you want to cut the familiars to play removal? I want to. Yeah, I kind of want to cut the familiars to play like Conclave Tribunal. Get out of here! So we're in we're in for Conclave Tribunal. We're not into Dark Salvation. <sighs> so Dark Salvation makes zombies, but then what? Shoot something for the amount of zombies you have. Is that right? Yeah. So like. If you've got three zombies, you can cast it for one mana and just minus three something. Or you could cast it for... Th- you could pay XX one as one, so you could pay three mana total to make a zombie and minus four something. And, um... I don't know, I kind of like the the utility of Conclave Crowd, you know, where it doesn't hit... It, it can hit creatures, but it can hit other things as well, like just in case. So three Conclave Tribunals. Yeah, that seems alright. Um... Do you want to play a spicy one of Demon of Dank Memes? <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Uh, Let's so, do, do you surprise surprise them with this, the shocking? I've got a billion 
energy all of a sudden thing. Um, so do you want to just play... I mean, I don't think you want to play 22 lands. No. So what what do you want to trim? Trim so, and a lender. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Go down to three yeah. lender. And go to three one, lender. One demon of dank memes. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Right, okay. So then... Because then he kills things and then you can... Do what you want. Right, so white white cards in the deck are Pious Evangel, Conclave Tribunal, a uh, Lend and Hidden Stop. Uh, and Hidden Stop. Yeah, so they're actually like pretty cool. We need we need double black a lot, but like we have like, a lot of white cards now. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, but we need to play all these deserts that we have well, okay, this right, camel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So we're starting with uh, four uh, isolated chapel and four. Uh, what's the God Shrine? Uh, Godless uh, Shrine. Shrine. Four isolated chapel, uh, four godless shrine, um, and four of the fast land. The fast land, yeah, the concealed courtyard, the one that comes into play if it's the. Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. The the one from Amonkhet, uh, not Amonkhet, Kalish. Kalish, yeah. yeah. Because in Amonkhet, the allied colors got the cycle lands. Yeah. And the set before that, the enemy colors got their fast land. Um. Right, so then that that means we so we've got the twelve of those, and now we yeah. get to play living deserts. Okay, that's a lot of deserts, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, actually, the fact we're not playing basics makes these isolated chapels really bad. I know, right? <laughs> it's something for them to check against the party. I know, or godless shines. <laughs> yeah, that's the sad thing. <laughs> Or none, none of the deserts. You, you don't have like desert swamp, do you? Or desert plains? Uh, desert. I think they're all just deserts. Nah, yeah, these are all just deserts. Um, Land desert. So like, yeah, they're all they're all just deserts. <laughs> for Chef at June. Sure. Yeah. Do you want get them play- get them with the plus one plus one zombies? Do you want to play any? Um, do you, yeah. Do you want to play any? Uh, of the cycle deserts. Um. Do we care? I don't know. It's, it's like about coming it's out like, and play tapped. Uh, we not. We don't have a one drop, so the idea is you would just drop it in turn one, and and then if not, just cycle it later. You, you Doesn't can... seem terrible. Yeah. It's like, do we want to just play eleven deserts and have these isolated chapels be <laughs> tap lights? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, be, be tap like, lands that are maybe on tap. I can't, I can't uh, remember what it's called. For say, yeah, be literal forsaken sanctuaries. <laughs> forsaken sanctuary. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what I mean is forsaken sanctuary with an upside, right? Because it might sometimes come into yeah, play on if, tap. If you've got that, seems sanctuary. really bad. I don't know. <laughs> so, like, like, there's not really another option, but like, still, so it's four chef engines. Yeah. Uh, well, there is an option. We can not play the camel and then not have to play all these deserts. Ah, uh, what does the camel do again? When it when it dies, they discard a card. It seems like it'd be really good once we start looping it. Yeah, just wreck um, their hand or whatever. Yeah. I know. Let's stick with the deserts. We're going dumb anyway. Okay, we might so, as well just stick so four with four chefogens. Do we want to? Yeah. Play, so do we want to play four Ethnial Deadlands as well? I mean, that's interaction that we don't have otherwise. Well, I mean, you've got you've got your you've got your uh, tribunals, conclave right? tribunals. Yeah. So four four Sheffitjuns, four Ethnir Deadlands, and then yeah. you've got three more lands. So you can at this to this point your choice are you can play some basics and only play eight deserts, or you can just go in and just play more deserts. Ah, let's just play more deserts. It's fine. So do, do we play cycle deserts? I think we need to play cycle deserts because I don't cycle think, deserts. Yeah, I don't think because with things like Relentless Dead and like Hidden Stockpile, I don't think we can afford to play like colorless deserts. No, God, no, 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 no. I'm, I, I was only ever thinking about the cycle deserts. I'm not thinking about. Uh, so, I mean, what? What's... Not thinking about what's the what's the what's the colorless desert that makes a zombie? I can't remember the oh, name of it. Yeah, but... uh, cu- Cradle of the Cursed or whatever. Yeah, curse, Cradle of the Cursed. Yeah. There's also the one that when it comes in, it puts a minus one counter on something. Yeah. I'd... Fuck that stuff. Let's okay, just. Okay. So four Sheffer Dunes, four Ethnir Deadlands. So we're actually like our mana's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it's the benefit so, uh, of being two colours. At the minute, we've got, like, 16 black and 16 white, and I guess we're heavier black, so we just play, like, three of the tapped black lands. Yep. What, what are they called? Uh, Desert of the... It's what, bond to, so they yeah, glorified. Desert of glorified, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I mean, that's a deck, right? That's... I mean, it's, it's 60 cards that share a colour. 
<laughs> what's the what's the sideboard? That's that, the that, question. That, that was that is going to be the next question. Um, so it depends. Like, what what are you worrying about? Like, well, right. So the thing, I, the thing that not worries me, but I hate the most is um, what's his name? Scar- Scarab God. Scarab God. So you just play like. To Hour of Glory or whatever the fuck that card's called, the black one that exiles all gods. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so you know that like, thing. Yeah. So well, like, so you can play Hour of Glory, or you can play Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, but the the one that the well, like, so it's a sideboard card that's there specifically for Scarab God. Yeah, but I mean, you could bring in like, if you play like Vraska's Contempt, you can like, bring it in to like kill Planeswalkers as well. True. Yeah. I've I've seen both. I've I've seen some Vraska's contempts and some. Well, so the thought that I had was you play a couple of the God one, and then you play a couple of the you know the the sorcery speed split card that also kills planeswalkers. You no, know, it's what's it called? Never no, to never, return never or whatever. Return. Yeah, because it makes a zombie. Because it then makes a zombie <laughs> when you put it in the graveyard. Um. Right. Okay. Uh, it's. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, we're not really killing the Scarab God. That's pretty good because it means when the Scarab God goes to the bin, you can then just like exile it with return. But how, wait, how well, no, because if because it, if it's a Scarab God, you bring in the God one and it just exiles it anyway, oh, no, and no, exiles no, all I, the I, other I, ones as well. I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking out loud that other things that we could use return for, like exiling things. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Graveyard that we don't want there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's 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 it again. It's like interaction sort of the. Yeah, um, I mean, do you think you're going to have a problem with like aggro decks? Um, well, we've got a lot of low drops, and those low uh, drops, yeah, like you've got, you've you've got like twelve two, don't drops. we? Ah, oh, okay, sure, that's not good. Um, okay, so what do we do against aggro decks then? Well, like, what, uh, what, basically, what do you want to take out? Because you probably want to like, you probably have to take out like your midnight reapers, right? Because you're just going to like, yeah, like, absolutely, because you'll die to that. Yeah. So, like, what are you replacing your midnight reapers with? Bretula suit. That kills all your guys as well, I guess. But that's. Yeah. I, I just, I'm just wondering, like, is there any like good? Because I mean, like things like Relentless Dead are actually mental against aggro decks because like they just block forever. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um. But is there? I mean, like some. I, I mean, maybe do, we could have a couple of Doom Descenters for that matchup. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. That's oh, not a bad. Uh, oh. Oh. Do you know? Do you know what card we've not spoke about? Okay, what? We could play Archangel Avison. Oh yeah, that was a card, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a card. That's that's going to get some people. Like, imagine just like flashing an Archangel Avison. All my dudes are indestructible, and then because you've got stuff like Hidden Stockpile and Pious Evangel, you can flip Avison on demand. Yeah, you can choose when to flip it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good card. That is a good card. Um, do we want to play like Lyra? Is that does 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 does, does, does the Abyssin go in the board? Is that what you're saying, or does that go in the main deck? I mean, it could go in either, right? Yeah, it could. Like, I get, I guess, like, like when when do you want Abyssin? You want Abyssin against like a control deck, right? Yeah. So. Stuff you want to like, you want to hold it and wait for them to like yeah. wrath or something. And... So like, I mean, I, I guess we probably do want some abs because I mean, like, against a control deck, Alenda seems pretty bad, right? Because like, yeah, you just want to like just stick something. Yeah, that's not gonna sticking sticking a four mana one one with life link's not gonna do anything against controls. So you pull that out, yeah. put in Abyssin, put in like Alira in um, the board. Do you know what we could play in the board as well if we're like for taking out? A, so we could play one Lyra. We could play like. Um, you know, like Fat Liliana, like um, like the five mana one that like makes zombies every turn and. Oh, them. the one from Kaladesh or whatever. Uh, no, from Avonkit, right? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, my Death's Mastery, yeah, Big Liliana. Because this is the thing. Like, see, against Control, we actually just you actually just want to take out Teza as well, right? Because yeah, you're just not. So you're, not you're, you're never gonna get that to stick long Cause, enough. Cause, yeah. yeah. So what what you basically need to do against like the the Control deck is literally rip out like. Your four drops, so you need shit to replace them. Yeah. So like your Avicens, that's yeah. just, this is your Avicens, and then like Big Liliana, like Death Majesty. Yeah. Um, 
and then probably put in some hand attack as well. Yeah. Some so like duresses. Like three duresses or something. Yeah. And how many we, cards is that? Uh, so, well, we've not really talked about how many, like, Aura Glory... Like, what, you, were, are you, to, you were talking Aura Glory, I was talking Vasquez Contempt. What was the other one you were talking about? Uh, never, never Return. return. Yeah. So, I mean, you could play, like, one Never Return, um, one Vraska's Contempt to Aura Glory. Like, I don't see why you like Aura Glory better than Contempt. Like, it... It's, it's just because the... But they literally... Like, 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 it's not better. They do the same thing. It's just, I like the idea of, like, killing the god with the god card. That was just, like, a flavor thing. But yeah, Contempt's better. But I would be, the, so the thing the thing that, that matters personally to me if I were to build this deck is that Vraska's content is like a billion so pounds. Like, we can get you the cards. Like, okay. So here's here's one right that might I don't, I don't know how you feel about this card. Um, what about the Footlight Fiend? The thing that dies and shoots something for one. Yeah, it's, it's a good card. Like I I like it. I played like three of them in draft earlier. That's like, pretty think, decent. Do you think that's like? Good against. Um, it's getting a aggro. Kills her stuff. Or yeah. Like the the other thing we could do is we could like play. Like, I'm just trying to think like what we can bring in against aggro. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking about. So yeah, if you play if you play, so instead of like the never deads and stuff like that, how many? Ca- what do you? Sorry, go on. If we go. How many contempts in the board? Like two. Yeah, at the minute, at the minute, what I've got is one never, one hour, two contempt, two Avison, two Liliana, one Lyra, three Judas. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's twelve cards. Twelve cards. So we've got three cards against aggro. Yeah, basically. Probably, probably needs to be against that because, like, I mean, what are we, what are we taking out against aggro? Probably the Elenders as well. The Elenders. The Elenders. Yeah. yeah. So the Elenders come out, and then we probably so the Lyra comes in against the aggro deck. Yeah. Um, Agrodex can't beat Lyra, so yeah. Your, your, your demon actually seems pretty good there. Um, but what else? What comes in? Like, I, oh, I've just looked at Plague Belcher. How does an aggro? How does like Mono Red kill a Plague Belcher? It doesn't. That's that's also as also a very good card against them, but is. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, the answer the answer is that Mono Red kills Plague Belcher in game two when it brings out Lava Coils or something like that, if it plays Lava Coils. I mean, like, but... you're probably pretty... Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I suppose that Lava Coil turns off all of our die struggles, which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lava Coil's pretty good against us, but it's not. So, let's... Uh, let's just... Let's look for this, the spicy one-offs now, then. Let's... Um... Well, wait, 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 wait. What did we say we're doing against Aggro here? Because we've not actually... Well, so we've got spaces and we've not decided anything. What, what gains? What can? Oh, we, we need to take out. Um, how do you feel of just putting two of these fill grief familiars on the, the board? I guess aggro. Yeah, because we probably yeah, that's fine. Because we probably need to take out midnight reapers as well. Yeah, uh, so that's fine. That, I'm just I'm okay I'm with just, I think that's like six cards that need to come out now. Yeah. So like, Lyra comes in. I guess. I guess. Lyra- I, I guess Avison just comes in because like, we need cards to bring in. Yeah. Uh, and then like two Filgri familiars. Yep. Um. So that's five cards. So we, I guess we could bring in contempt. It's, it's a wee bit awkward though, if, like, especially if they're on like a burn plan. Yeah, that's um, that seems kind of awkward. So, well, I mean, if they're on like the proper burn plan, Duress actually seems pretty good because at that point, Duress yeah. is just like a healing salve, right? It's just game yeah. three. <laughs> um, yes, Pre- prevent them from shocking your face or whatever. Yeah. The. So at that point we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's fourteen cards. So we can have one spicy. One. Oh, I can have a one of. I love it. I love uh, having a, a one gonna, of. Are we just going to search for all black and white rails and mythics from this? <laughs> so right. <laughs> the, let me. Let me. Have you, got, have you got something in mind? Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me hit you with this. Right. Right. We cut something from the board, so we have two spaces. And we go <laughs> one of Gisela, now, one like, of Bruno. Now, uh, <laughs> now, see, I was, I was thinking this right, but my issue is right. You want Gisela against the the the, the mono red deck, right? Yeah, Gisela's great against that group. Ah, but see, it's not in this format because oh, because it's got three health. Yeah. Well, yeah, in this format, they've got twelve lightning strikes. So like, uh, it's just 
fucking dead. It's dead. Um, so I'm not I'm not actually too hot on um, Br- uh, Gisela because I just don't feel like she ever actually stays. Does anything? Yeah. Uh, right. So it's so good though. <laughs> let's see. Um, white and black cards. Um, Imagine getting that big old Brazella on board though. White and black cards. Rules <laughs> and mythics. Um, that card fucking hoses mono red. Can't cast anything three or less. <laughs> so let's. Um, oh, here, here, right, right. So see the see the two of Liliana. I said we're playing. Yeah. Right. That's we're not anymore. We're playing okay, one we're... Liliana and one Sorin Grim Nemesis. Oh fucking! Your Sorin fetish is so. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm kind of into it. Like, it's a good card. It's a really good card. I would be okay with it. Um, What's it do again? It like gains you life and shit stuff and just, stuff. He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, uh, fine. Okay. So, but well, like, right? Okay, but like, when? So when do you play Sauron? Like, what do you bring Sauron in for? Uh, Mid range and control matchups. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Fair enough. Um. Any. Any. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Matchups where you need to go bigger. Um. So. Play this Sauron. Draw nice cards. Shoot you for one because I'm gonna or two because I'm gonna draw relentless dead. Right, so let's let's have a let's have a quick look down all the white rails. Um, so anointed procession, we're not into that. Um, there's Bruna. <laughs> Bygone bishop doesn't care about dying. Um, oh, we're still we still care about like things dying. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just uh, like Bygone bishop cares about things coming into play. It's not dying, right? Yeah, this yeah, this is the problem I had is like a lot of things care about coming into play but not a lot about dying. Um Right, so nope. Nothing nothing interesting there. Uh Regal Caracal uh, Cats What is uh, <laughs> so... what's Thalia's Lancers up to? And it finds thing? legendaries. Yeah, don't really care about that. Um Right. Okay. So there's there's no there's no good mono white rare or something. But that's and good. and in all these sets, there are no good well, I mean, mono white rares. There is, but not not for what we're up to. Not for what we're trying to do. Let's look at black ones. Uh, mono black rails in the postmodern format. Uh, <laughs> this dumb format that you've invented. So there's uh, I'm Eternal. We didn't talk about. He's the big afflict zombie. Yeah, but like, that doesn't really do anything yeah, for us. It's not really on theme. I really like that card. I played that card a lot, but I, I, it doesn't do anything here. Um. So there's the there's a dark salvation, uh, <laughs> cruel reality. What the fuck is cruel reality? It's the seven mana. Oh god, god that enchantment. Um. That just yeah. beats them. Um. But like, what does what the what? I mean, I like it. It's cool. It's a very yeah. spicy one-off, but what would we ever use it for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's your Hour of Glory. Stick it on a control player. Uh, fucking yeah, sack, well, I mean, sack yeah, your Teferi or something. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, you need to resolve it first, but... Uh, yeah, that's never happening, though. Um, what does Oath of Liliana do? Oh, it's a sacrifice. It's a sac- well, sacrifice of creature. Yeah. Um... There's... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of spice I'm seeing here. This is, this is the problem that I've had trying to build a standard deck for all these formats. It's just like, there's nothing that really interests me, because all of it's kind of boring. Yeah. Um, right, here's a question. Yeah. How do you feel about one Westvale Abbey? <sighs> <laughs> I like it. That's so, a good idea. Do we cut one of these? So we, so now we're we're saying, do you know what? Actually, we do want to play uh, a colorless land. Well, we only bring that. When would we bring in a no, West no, no, Abbey? I'm, I'm saying main. Oh, main? No, fuck no. Why not? What? Because that 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 I guarantee you that de- that card would screw us in a game. Nah, I'll be okay. Let's take out one of the black deserts and put yeah, it in. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, we take out the. Yeah, all right, deserts. sure. Why not? Play one of those. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's not nothing. There's nothing else. 
Really sweet here, right? Um, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to search for um, cards that say gain gain life. Oh, we get gain life or something. Um, gain life or something. <laughs> so text gain life in this format. Let's see what we can do. Uh, ugh, like, do you know? Do you know what the annoying thing is? Like, there's lots of cards that I'm like, oh man, that would be good. That would be good, but it's not really sweet. No. Like, like, do you know what this deck actually really wants to play? It's gonna be some card from, like, what was the set before this? Like Zendikar or something? No, like Zendikar's not in the format. No, that's what I mean. Is no, that no, you're, no, you're no. gonna say like no, a no, card no, that we can't play? It's, it's a really good card that this deck probably should play in the sideboard, but it's really What's that? boring. What is it? Aether Sphere Harvesters. Ah, oh, that's really dull. No, like it. It fixes. It should. It absolutely like, should. It, it fixes fix, so much, but it's like you know the problem we're having against these aggro decks. Like that. Yeah. Just Ah, that's really dull though, isn't like, it? It's sort of, can we just call Sword and Grim Nemesis or Sweet One Off and play some Aethos Your Harvesters? I mean, uh, well, we, we technically have two things. We've got one Liliana as well. Two Sweet Planeswalkers in the board. And a, and, and a one of Lyra. That's pretty sweet. So, I don't know. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trim down to... I'm going to take out... Well, do you know what we can do? We can have maximum one-offs. Because see if I take this Vraska's Contempt down to a one-off as well. <laughs> So we've got what one Braskis to end, one Aura Glory, and one, one never, never one, dead, one Liliana, one Lyra, one Soren. You know what? This sounds more and more like a sideboard that we would build. As <laughs> so I'm into it. And, uh, <laughs> Look at all these fucking one-off silver bullets that we have. This is and then like the boring stuff is like two Avisons, Ether Sphere Harvesters, yeah. yeah, two two Ether Sphere Harvesters, two Felgi Familiars, two Avisons, three Juris. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That, that, I'm into that, it. That so- sounds like a deck to me. Mm-hmm. Well done. <laughs> That's a deck. We did it. Is this, is this what you're going to play? I mean, maybe. I want to. I, I want to. I want to break my second idea, but we can do that at another time. Is, what, what's, what's your second idea? So my second idea is I saw someone do this in a video uh, like two days ago, and I thought it was a really cool idea. And I don't know if it can be expanded upon or whatever. So the idea is Evra Halcyon Witness and Fling. I don't even know what that card is. So Evra's that rare from Dominaria that says you can exchange your life total with her power. Oh. And then okay. fling it. Uh. Right, okay. But this person that I saw do it, well, you have to play it as Boros because it's a white card or a red card. Yeah, yeah. This person had a secondary win con that I also really liked, which was uh, Star of Extinction and True Fire Captain. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Because it goes, it takes yeah. twenty, shoot you for twenty. Yeah, um, so so that, that that's just all the memes. That's just like, that's just that's just a complete ridiculous. Like, oh, if I don't win by flinging this giant ever at your face, then ah, uh, star of extension, shoot you for twenty. Like, that's, um, do you know? Do you know what I'd want to build in that deck then? What I think that's just another um, what's it called? Sunbird's invocation deck. Because, because imagine, imagine casting Star of Extinction to go and find the True Fire Captain. Oh, that would be so good! In the top seven. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cast it, flick it off the top, and just yeah. raise your hands in the air and scream the word nailed it at the top of your voice. I'm going to cast Star of Extinction onto this empty board, and they're like, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> trigger, trigger my, um... Sunbird Sunbird's application. I'm going to look at the top seven cards. I'm going to reveal this True Fire Captain. I'm going to cast True Fire Captain. <laughs> Does Star of Extinction resolve? resolve. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to build it, because it sounded really dumb, but also kind of really funny. Um, but... I mean, like, I've already got a good shell for that, because, like, I kind of, because I played a lot of Red, like, Boros, um, Boros Phoenix in the last format. Like not Phoenix, uh, Boros uh, Sunbirds Invocation. Mm, so like, yeah. I already kind of know what a shell for that would be. Right. Um, so you, you're, it's basically a, it'd just be like a treasure map deck, and then like yeah, you, yeah, that's... using treasure map to like ramp and scry you into the things you need, and then you play like Gideons and things to like fob people off. And oh yeah, Gideon! I forgot about Gideon. Yeah. Uh, the, the the other thing that's really sweet actually about postmodern is um. You might. Oh, you're you're not you're not in the the web chat. You're in the other chat, the pleb chat. Yeah. Um, 
So Stephen Stephen Murray out at Falkirk, the guy who like does all the geek gear stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're they're actually hosting a postmodern tournament. Uh, oh next, Jesus! They're hosting a postmodern tournament next week because like the, all the guys in Falkirk have been like, brewing so much for the Spellbound Cup. Yeah, they've like it's actually like started its own wee night out there. Oh wow! It's actually picked up steam as a format. I mean, I think it's really sweet. I think I think this deck looks really sweet. I don't know if this deck's any good, but like, oh, I don't think I don't think the deck's good at all. But it is I mean, pretty like, funny and it's pretty I think, sweet. I think you'll like. I think it could steal some wins. That is true. Yeah, I don't know. I, th- I think it'd be interesting. It would yeah. it, it, It's a real shame that this only came to be like two weeks before the event or something like that because it is. Yeah. I would really want to test it, ideally. But... Like, I, I think as well, like if you if you really wanted to like um, to make your sideboard better, like you could maybe play like one copy of like Fumigate as well, and that just like keeps the green black decks honest. Yeah, because like they might, they, I can imagine them just going like Wild Growth Walker and then building a big board, and then like, you can't really get through, and then it ends on this like awkward stalemate where they can't attack because they're going to trigger all your death things, but they're just and you're just like fumigate you. I'll trigger all my own death things, kill all your shit. This is my turn. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna untap and like rebuild. What um, what do you cut in the board for a fumigate then? I don't know. The board's really good. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like, I like the board. What's the, what's in the board? You were just about to say you like it and you have no idea what's in it. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I know what's in it. I just need to hear it back because I've not got it right in front of me. So one hour of glory, one never return, one Vraska's contempt, one Liliana Death Majesty, one Soaring Grim Nemesis, one Lyra. <laughs> two... <laughs> yeah. Two Avison, two Filgree Familiar, two Aether Sphere Harvester, and three Juress. Mm. What? Should I think what you would cut for a few minutes? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. It's the perfect. Only, yeah. The only the only other card that like the sweet one of that I'm I would be tempted to put in is a uh, Twilight Prophet. Yeah. I do like a Twilight Prophet, but it's a good card, but I just don't Yeah. Like what's it do? Like it's not Like it gains you life and it draws you cards and Yeah. It it's, seems like it'd be good, but I don't think it's very sweet. <laughs> nah, it's not very sweet. It's just good. Do you know what is sweet? Kai Mm. or Sov Usurper. Card is sweet, but I I, I don't know what it does in our deck, but. I'm just looking at sweet sweet cards now. Yeah, I mean, Kai is a sweet card, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty sweet card. But again, I don't think it does anything, but it's a sweet card. Well, I mean, we've we've got a deck. We've got a deck, we've built a deck. Well done. Yeah, congratulations.